After a day of analyzing numbers and trying to come up with some solid answers, a new message tonight that there will be no new results until tomorrow. Let's take a look at the race everyone is talking about, the race for president, of course. Now, specific to Nevada, we can see that very small 7,500 vote separation. It was three years ago that it was a 2.5 percentage point win for Hillary Clinton and the Democrats this year, significantly closer as we wait for those results. What everyone is doing right now is waiting for a numbers dump expected any moment from Arizona. We're going to check in with David Charns with more on that and then more from Nevada tomorrow. We'll get that data at 10 a.m. Yeah, so uh, Brian, we're looking for those numbers just uh, happening right about now as we get that into our system. Of course, Arizona turning out to be a toss up state in this election. And those results that we're waiting are from Maricopa County. That's the area around Phoenix. 600,000 votes. Right now, Joe Biden there looks like he has been uh, declared the winner by the Associated Press. 1.4 million votes to President Trump's 1.3 million. Again, looks like Vice President Joe Biden taking Arizona there. Again, a lot of talk around that area around Phoenix, making up 60% of the electorate in uh, Arizona. If my math is right, if Joe Biden then takes Nevada, again, those results expected tomorrow, he would win the presidency. We'll keep you posted. Brian Denise.